let's go back. You were born in Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. Um, did you live there at all after birth? You were born there, you came back you to Nigeria. You know those kinds of things. born, you carry, born, you carry <laughs> <come back. laughs> So I was born, my, my mom did masters in Atlanta. Okay. So my dad, has, uh, my dad met, had my sister, Sharon, then they had me. Then, but I came back to Nigeria immediately. It was only me that lived in Nigeria. Okay. Sharon, Adewale, Coco, my mate, everybody lived US or London. So it was only me, mm-hmm. my mom, and my dad in Nigeria. Okay. Do you understand? So, so a lot of time when they were like, oh, I grew up, I didn't really, I was going there every summer as per summer holiday, but no, I didn't really like grow up. Yeah. But so uh, it doesn't, it, it doesn't have any effects on your no, it music life, does it? I would say my style. Okay. Gang business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'll say like, I'll say like my style because like I was really, growing up, I was really into hip hop. Forget Afro beats. And I was, I was a big 50 cents. I had the game. I had the shoes, I had everything, 50 cents, anything, hip hop, gang style, whatever they can think of. So like growing up, like hip hop style, like, yeah, that's what I really liked. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, so I'll come for it. I'll come for December, I'll come for December. So there was one December I came. I'm in the club, I'm like, cause you know, special. Which is my cousin, so special is work with the bunch, Banga, that year. So there was one December I came. I was the only fool and keep you, not even sending like that. <laughs> one December I came. Rehab, club, rehab. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's good, yeah, see the band, see daughters, see one there, see whiskey, see everybody popping bottles, all the girls around them. Ah, I just didn't look from far. <laughs> Man, I didn't bar, I didn't bar, I didn't bar. This name is really gay. <laughs> like, How old were you then? I was like 14. Okay. 14, 15. I was like, damn, these guys are really getting into that day. I made up my mind. I was like, oh, I'll try this out for a bit. Yeah. Before then, you didn't have anything for music? No, no, I was doing music, but I was doing hip-hop. Like, hip-hop, you were not Trump, trying to... Yankee, not really, like, so, like... That was when you sort of reset, say, uh, ah, Afrobeats. Yeah, see, I'm Afrobeats, <laughs> all those... That year now, bro. Yeah. Boy, boy, I was like, I've never seen that kind of thing before. That day, when, that day, like, 100 rose. You know now, ah. So I was like, man, I'm doing this. So, I bought equipment. Started working, started working, started working. So I tried some making peace. One of my cousins calls him and PC daddy. And I told my pops, I was like, ah, daddy, can I transfer my credits from America <laughs> to Nigeria? He said, eh, better be going back to America straight. <laughs> carry police, they carry me go airport. Took me for a plane. Plane took off. Fact, one day can tell you the same story. Plane took off, I'm on the way back to school. The whole time on the plane, I'm like, <sighs> Man, I can't do this music. I can't do this thing. I land. As I land, Allah, Allah. As I land, somebody's on the phone saying, Give me David Nova. Give me David Nova. I won't buy a book. I won't buy a book. Any, because that year, anybody that comes to Atlanta, any artist that comes to ATL, they're calling me first. Because of my cousin, you too, the OBO girl, strippers, games, you know that's so the go. So I woke up, like, one day, one day, just look back. I'm, ah, you are my, we didn't know we're on the same flight. You know my flight? I was like, damn. He's like, ah, oh, go I said, no, I have to go to school. But he said, say, you're going to school. The man is coming tomorrow. I'm going to LA to do your school. One day. I said, I said, y'all show the video. Snoop dog. Ah, uh, and that remix. Baba, I carry my phone, call my SIM card. Yeah, from there, that's when the journey started. From there, that's when the journey started. From that breaking my So you didn't go back to school? Bro, I wasn't in school for one year. What did your dad say? So I, was in, I did. I did one year of school. So I did the second year. I met some Jamaicans for my school. <laughs> <laughs> I met some Jamaicans for my school. So the first semester I failed. So I didn't even send made fake results. Sent to Popsy. Or that bar. One person I was in the school fees. Got help at fifteen years old. Look at me. I had a three story crib in Alabama with full of Jamaican studio. Chilling. So going back, I read you that this thing will hook either yeah. way because he thinks I'm in second year or third year and I'm in first year. And the only policy that once you reach third year, he buys you a car, any car of your choice. Are you listening? So when I landed, I was meant to be in third year, but in first year. <laughs> so my plan going back to like just to Yankee saying, she be asking that I want to do this, you know, green. You know my plan was so this I will tell you, I go buy a car, sell them. Use the money. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just like that. So from there, it was just me. I found out I was in school. How long was, did it take him to find out? 
He made it alone, like I landed obviously, and I didn't go to school, so he was trying to like and your phone was up, because yeah. he called school. So like, um, I'm looking for my son. He's like, he's like, you're like, um, he hasn't been enrolled here for about a year. So from there, just that's when I knew that one, they don't catch me. Two, I cannot go back in disgrace. Never. I vowed, though. I vowed. I said, look, I must go back, Greece. I must go back to my family. With the reason, <laughs> you understand? And I, you know, when, you know when I went back after Dami Duro, it was so big. So that was not reason, but nobody even the reason all those things went. So it was just, it was just a crazy story. So Pops didn't find. Uh, how did he? How did you mend things with him? Because I'm, I'm trying to understand. I mean, if he sent you to school, you didn't go to school. I mean, because, to come because, music, what no, did it take for him bro, to sort of up, say, okay? Think about it. I was gone for six months. Yeah. You lose your your last born for six months. You don't know where you are. Do you understand? So like. Yeah. I think me and him coming back it wasn't it wasn't on the what's happened, it was just on the let's fix it and move on. Yeah. So the fixing and moving, he wanted me to go to school, obviously. And I was like, Daddy, I want to do music. Do you understand? But I think like he before my mom passed, he promised my mom that I would finish school. So he was really, really keen on me getting that education. And also he didn't really believe that this music would get big like this as well. So the deal was okay, I'll go to school. If I go to school, how far? Yeah. So he beat me in the studio down the road from my house. Yeah. So that's how I met a lot of these artists. Like people who come to Stu Malik Berry, Bijano that year, Sauce Kids, Mo Cheda. And that's how I met everybody that year in that studio. I was recording them, renting out my studio for free because people would charge. A lot of people would be charging for studio sessions. I would just give them for free. So he helped me a lot to connect. So I was like, Daddy, I want to go to New York. Yeah, <laughs> he said no. I already called my cousin. He said, "Are you like no worry, we're going now." He said no, Babcock. <laughs> and I don't know, cousin Babcock. I know, cousin. I said, "Afa, but this time we can go back." He said, "Ah, come, job, we go run up." I go just stay in the hallway. You go stay. I said, "Okay." Do you know where my pops he puts me? He me puts me in the dorm. He me puts me in the VC's house. Are you serious? Brother. <laughs> now this is now this is now my dog be this. It's coming out at seven o'clock in the morning, it's knocking on my door. So I was there for like bro, I was depressed, like walk like walking around school, like Did people know you in school? No, I was I didn't You hadn't done that yet, yeah. So I was just there. And then so the deal was the deal was go to school two weeks. Then the third week weekend and I come to Lagos. I do my music, whatever I want to go out. Right? So I was doing that, doing that, doing that, doing that. I did like three weeks, and I shot the video. We need to do a sound yeah. back where Clarence did all that. He paid for everything. Dropped it, went back to school. So mind you, that time I shot the video was that third week. I've been in school for that. So now I've gone back to school. Dropped the video, everything. Two weeks come. I'm just, I remember, I'll never forget. I'm sitting under the tree in the VC's house. My guy running. The song don't blow. Yeah. Song. <laughs> yeah, there was, you can't really yeah. know. Yeah. Some of the songs, so, 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 that one, you're on the street. See, why is it dropped? Where the camera was going, all the girls. I said, Are you sure? He showed me a video. Do you know what I did? I went upstairs. I made a fake human clothes. Now they make fake human where you go cover. Where you go like, <laughs> make fake human clothes cover like this. Then they say, I go chapel. Baba, move. As I enter Lagos, I stopped to buy. <laughs> I stopped to buy all those uh, total finishation. I stopped to buy um, something. Shall I? Somebody just said, David Do. I said, ah, they know me. <laughs> you know, yeah, no. See? Uh, well, let's let's talk about NATO now. Because everybody knows that the first single, yeah. the, the David Do moment. You of know, course. How did that connect happen? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was the biggest fan of NATO. See, like, I know about 10. Yeah. Killing big deal, like biggest fan. Do you understand? I knew Asa from just being Storm Records that year. Do you understand? I remember him saying, "Let's see." First time I met him, I went out to that downstairs bar, was shaking. How old were you? Sixteen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw him. I played him record, and he just fucked with it. And we actually paid him. I just paid him. Paid me. Was he one point something that year? So For the feature. Say, yeah. I remember doing, you recorded that song in party. I remember just when the two was. Hey! <laughs> so we saw the video with Clarence. Then, 
Boom. And that was it. The NATO like once when you come, like, let's do the show, let's do the show. So I started start following NATO shows. Yeah. So funny enough, I was in NATO like two weeks ago. <laughs> 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 you know what they are telling me to? Alpha, give back my money. <laughs> That's my brother. That's Alpha. Oh, but you give back right. <laughs> do you feel like you owe him? No, I don't feel like I owe him. Yeah. Like you feel like it would have happened. Regardless of NATO. I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, brother. Nobody, nobody helped me get to where I am. Yeah. Oh, God. That's first. I would have made it in whatever industry I'm doing. Yeah. But, whether I'm music, whether I'm acting, whether I'm hosting, whether I'm anything. But, of course, he helped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He helped, but I wouldn't. You give him credit, but of course, it would have still course. happened regardless. Yeah. Definitely. You've, talk, you've talked in the past about how whiskey influenced you. Not necessarily influenced, but sort of made you want to do more. Like I said before. Like yeah. I told you when I came down December. I saw. I, I, I won't say influencing, but I saw a young nigga getting it. That was the first young nigga to like. Because yeah. my parents one day, I won't say they were old, but like they were. They were in the game already. But yeah. He was young, bro. Yeah. And it was the first time I saw like, damn, he's young. Like he's actually getting it. You know what I'm saying? So like, that that motivated me. Yeah. A bit. Like, you know, when was the first time you met him? I met Wiz. When was the first time? You know I met Wiz. <laughs> I had one, and we were watching this. We were going to watch this. We were going to watch this. I met to his, my, we, we used to have a, we used to do like a Christmas party in my dad's house every year. So, um, special invited whiskey. And whiskey was like the hottest shit at that point. He came, oh my cousin, look at me, who is So he came, I met him that time, but we never linked. Then I met him again when I came back. That was the role. He knows it. They go beach with the drive with all. Oh, this is damn drill video, bro. Yeah. Do you understand? Me, I wish they go. Now, which first time we go back up? So we go. Do you understand? So, yeah. I mean, but, man. Where did things start looking like they had fallen apart? At what point? Honestly, bro, like I always say, but it's never been on my part. Like, Entirely has never been on my part with anybody. You know, so when when I did feel like things were just getting apart, I think when I was just getting bigger, um, getting because we're the two youngest in the game, and I mean the fans, people around him, people around me. Um, I think from like um, from like uh, me dropping my first album, things started like yeah. shaky and stuff like that. Do you think it was the fans? Or do you think it was both of you? Did you start? Did you feel like you became competition? Of course. Yeah. Definitely. Do you think he felt that? Of course. He knows that. And I could be the only reason why he'd be vexing at me. Because I've never done nothing. Except after having sports. I know I've never done nothing before. That's my brother. Like, I'm a big... I love whiskey, bro. And I know he loves me too. He knows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... It's bullshit. But it's a competition that caused it. Do you understand? Yeah. So why do you let the competition get to you guys? <laughs> Bro, it was just a lot. It was like, it's actually a lot. Like power play, just yeah. like, and then the fans don't make it easier. Yeah. People don't make it easier. Even people around us don't make it easier. Do you understand? Like, do you know how many times me and we have been alone? I'm just young. Just, so what we think, what in the past? Eh? Nothing. But man, I don't know. Right now, it's just... Yeah. Oh. How did you guys get to the this was 2017 or 18 where you guys performed together. Okay. Uh, was it 2018? 2017. 2017. So before that, it looked like there was... How did you get there? Okay, okay. So from that the old day. Whiskey David O.P., blah, 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 blah. You get one chairman. When the thing was really like... Intense. I mean, it's still intense now, but... <laughs> Not for me, but... Ah, okay. <laughs> but listen, you get one chairman, we come and say, Oh, David, I want to see you. So we, I didn't know this was there. So I walked in, and he said, I don't want to say his name, because, but he respects me, you know. So I walked in the house and see this. This is after like 10 years, and we spoke. I said, guy, what's in the shop? I said, I'm going to go to the He said, what's in the shop? He said, David, what's in the shop? What's in the So we just hugged, and we left it, and it was cool. Then we fought again after that, too. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> we fought again after that, then. Um, during like 2017, he called Meoku. Like he wanted Meoku to come to the show. Do you understand that? And he, I said, okay, Meoku, go. Do you understand nothing? Because Meoku's my artist. 
I will never ever block your shine. Yep. Because I know you, you grew up listening to gold. Then um, enemies, who is this bodyguard called me? It's my guy too. So, enemies. Yeah, enemies. <laughs> <laughs> so we the same as show. I said, I show. I said, we same as show. I said, okay, now I go show. And we show. And that was one of the greatest moments in Nigerian yep. entertainment history. Then after I went to the club, we just did. But then after a while, I'm around, oh, brother. So wait a minute. <laughs> I, 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 mean, can't, bro, I don't know, because, bro. But you have to know because for me, it's, that day I was at the show, right? And it was an amazing moment. A lot of people were excited. Oh, finally, this is over. Um, and then I think it's not easy, a few months later, we started seeing some yeah. sobs again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it's not. I don't know, man. Do you think you guys listen to the fans too much? I think so. No, I think so. Yeah, I think that is. Do you, is it on purpose? Because it fuels, it fuels the following. It fuels the drama. Honestly, honestly, can I can I tell you, can I ask something? Be honest with you. Yeah. Did me and Wizzy's beef make us bigger? Probably. Yes, it did. So are you guys doing it on purpose? No, but I'm not. No, that's not. That's not. Actually. Are you doing it on purpose? No. Do you think he's doing it on purpose? No, bro. It's like <laughs> it's really like it's my brother, but like there's really a problem. Yeah. That we need to fix. Yeah. Yes, I want to go Have to you me. tried? I've tried, man. I've tried. Mm. Bro, I've tried to do an album with you. Should I tell you that? Oh, wow. I've tried to do a tour with you. Do you understand? Like, we've spoken about. Last time, um, Afro Nation. Yeah. Starboy and 30 Beach, we went to sit down and have a, like, a general meeting and sort every problem possible. It didn't happen. We went to do an album, tour, blah, 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 blah. So just like, but like I keep saying, the problem no be for me. Do you understand? The problem is not for me. So. How would you describe whiskey now? What do you mean now? Like how would you de- in this moment? How would you describe whiskey? No stress. Huh? No stress. No stress. Yeah. I was saying to Olamide the other day. Olamide was in like um, two days ago. I was talking. I was like, damn, well, I just reminiscing from. How long we've how far we've come? Damn. I think when we really sit down and think about the blessings, no going to Yeah. But honestly, I'm saying this camera. I hope I don't get any problems. <laughs> That's the honest truth. Yeah. Do you understand? So Do you think we're ever gonna get a collab? Honestly, I think a collab should have happened since. But now, I mean I don't care. Come, no one drunk, no one drunk, no one drunk. <laughs> All I know say hits them a cabal, many. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in the music industry for how long? It can be my ten years in me. Yeah. Hopefully everyone will be open and you host it for me. <laughs> my ten years in me. Um Yeah. Ten years. Ten years. Um congratulations, first of all. Most most times, you, first of all, you don't find a lot of artists who last that long yeah. in the industry because you burn out or you plateau because it's just like okay, there's really no more hits. And ten years is usually the mark where yeah. you don't climax. Mm-hmm. Um, first off, what has kept you going? Naysayers. The fact that people didn't think. I think you know what? <laughs> y'all motherfuckers dumb because y'all just helped me get so big. You should have just left me and loved me. <laughs> no, I'm saying that anger. Oh, when I did that anger, now, when I did write that hits, when I did perform that anger, so like the naysayers kept me going. Like he's not good, to, not good to do this, not good. To do this. You do it, you do it, you do it. You do it. You know. So the naysayers. Kept so you me keep going. proving them wrong. Yeah. I'm never gonna start. Just won't start. Just won't start. Now. So you're not worried about going that, down. Yeah. Everybody has to go down. Nobody can be on top of it. But you don't think you're there yet? Me okay. <laughs> I'm not even on any place to go down or up. Bro, I have the next me coming. Me yeah. or Do you understand? Like, do you know how I look at life? If today, God forbid, <laughs> <laughs> they talk say they don't want to hear the video again, or money goes, I don't go, I don't go hungry. Yeah. I get where I go sleep. My children don't go hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like, like forget money. I'm talking about gener- generational wealth of 
the things you've done. I know many things my mama don't do for people. Where they help me now, I not even did. Do you understand? Everybody has to go down. It's normal. Yeah. But I keep explaining to people like, bro, I've built a structure which is, bro, I have so many artists that have helped that if that were open on any day. Do you understand? Yesterday I just did a song with um, Rema, um, the Prince. You know, he signed Rema, the yeah. other, the one where they come after Rema. <laughs> I just go see Prince yesterday on a random people, get one business, what they do. I hear song like Joam. You go show say that boy will be next number one. You go come over more do song. I'm there. Bro, it's not me, bro. Now my bro, everybody I've helped are keeping me afloat. Yeah. That's why you notice that all these people don't really help people or did bad to people. Going up is sweet, but you're coming down go bad. My own coming down, as I come down, they go to push me back up. You understand what I talk? And you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Couple people, you going up sweet, you're coming down bad. <laughs> Give us a name. <laughs> <laughs> he likes his own. <laughs> you know yourself. You know yourself. <laughs> hey, but no, shout out to like people like people like coming up. I kind of I don't give shout out to Shank. Shank. One day. I remember your first show at a hotel. I remember yeah. Shank. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, uh, yes. MMR. Yes. Music, music. Yeah. <laughs> Shank. Bemi. Peju. Esa. Um, one day. Seed. Jazzy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was in <laughs> K switch, everybody. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I have so many questions in my head. Oh, let's go. Well, you're, you're, you are 10 years in the industry, you are still at the top. Um, who do you see now as your I don't use the word competition, but who do you look at and say, okay, this is. My peer, let me use that word. Tell you say we I was hoping you were gonna say that. <laughs> wow. So let's talk burner. What's up? <laughs> let's talk burner. And let's talk femme. Um what was femme about? Why is everybody asking me what's femme about? Because they were first of all to don't disclose them. Femme burner are pro we cannot, two of us cannot sit in a room without any, like, only or two of us and fight to have an argument. Me and brother don't pass that P. But you can't, you, you can't listen to Femme and not think it's No, no, no let me finish now. Brother, I was the happiest for Bona's success. Because I know how, how, how many times people discredited him, blocked him. Do you know how many times I said, ah, if Bona get a chance, I'm going to be number one. Do you know how many times I said it? Brother, I don't have to wait on anybody. If I don't do music today, all my brothers and sisters, they're richer than me. It's true now. If I go work for my... Do you know how many power plants we have? If I go work for my office, I'll be a billionaire tomorrow in dollars. Yes, I'm doing this because I love the craft. Bona is my brother, brother. I met Bona like 2010, bro. Yes. I've, when I first bought my first founder, Bona, am I lying? I drove me, Bona, and Dami Crane. We drive, Bona, am I lying? From um, uh, one hotel in VR, for, for, forgetting one hotel, we go meet two face of grasshopper. We are me whole loss, flog us. <laughs> you know what I'm like? I'm sorry. Wait, I'm me flog you. Uh, <laughs> they whole loss. Our that time we never blow like that. They whole loss like this. Me, my dad, we came. We go, we go where um, um camo, camo. <laughs> hey, now for where camo? What's up, what's up? But listen, we go where camo? Like, like I'm dreaming, but not like. Come on, like so it's like. Even even after he like he blew up, we're still cool. Do you understand? I just over a while, and I'm happy I'm saying this, but like over a while I'm like, start hearing this. I've never in my life said I want to do anything bad. So what's the line, bro? I just woke you, you, up. You just you just read that line. I just what's line? Tell the dogu say I like to pass it. And a lot of the songs, a lot of the now. songs seemed like by because party, before that they had been no, they had me, an insinuation. Before fair, let me finish with that. <laughs> okay, this is my brother. Like yes, so like over time I was not here now. Bona is saying, I'm like bro, Bona is saying, what do you Bona do? I don't get anyone. Bona, me Bona knows you can't even can't even have Allah. I don't know if you understand. People, they people, they people, they discredit you, they block you. God finally done for you in a great way. 
Grammy nomination, everything. I'm happy. Forget if you, if you, I'm happy. It doesn't take anything from me. Even these guys that are gingering him now, telling him, David saying this, in guy, in PA, I don't know, I'm not going to say his name. In, you know what I do for you? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, that's my brother, brother, brother. So, it's like, wake up, sing this song, blah, blah, blah. I just woke up. Football team. I saw a funny picture on Instagram. Yeah. With me and Whiskey. We bomb Balawo. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, you know me, I, like, my page, is, I joke. It's like, two days, me, I don't even, me, I don't even say no to me. Posted two days of all time. Go cap. Oh, apparently, but I go angry. I'm like, angry what? Okay, you go angry that I posted. And you were friends until that point. You already, I don't know. I don't know. Me, I'm his friend. I'll always be your friend. I'll always be for you. So I don't know if it's my friend, but I'll always be your friend. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just see, say, I, I have it. Um, football team, your daddy bought it. You know, everybody knows you don't have to play, you don't know how to play football. Your dad bought the football team. Yeah. Disgrace. Yep. Ha. <laughs> I've never mentioned your, your dad. I've never mentioned, come on, bro. Okay, I know talk I I go offline four months. Come, do my thing. I'm not I don't want to be violent. What what are we So was that song about Bernard though? No, it's not. It's not about Bernard, it's about everybody that's just parrying for no reason. But you mentioned the dogo. Yes. For Who's, what, what does Odogu mean? But that's his nickname. What does Odogu mean? <laughs> Tell Odogu <laughs> said like to pass it. <laughs> I mean, like to pass is a song, Odogu is his nickname. Yes, he's born or no. But the yeah. song is not about him. But okay. give me that line. Tell Odogu, say, we like to party, let's party, let's chill. Do you understand? Just call me. Yeah. Call me, call me. You're you, you day. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you're up. I'm happy you're rich. I'm happy for you. Everything, brother. Now, me, I'm supposed to run this P. What are you now, me, I'm supposed to run this P now. What is he fight for? Now, you're, you're angry that you're angry that I posted me and we skid. Right? Abi? That well, not Bernard didn't say that. His guy told me. Let me not put words in his mouth. Yeah. His guy told me that. But you're a whiskey in London. Every day. So let me if they won't do all those join together, come out, they no go work. I'm not fighting them. All those come together, it would not work with you. You think they're fighting you? Brother, it's clear. You, let's not be fake. For what now? What are the three biggest in the game now? As at now. But do you understand? I'm born here, my brother. Like, Wizzy, too, you're my brother. So I'm like, bro, what are we all doing? But I will not. One thing I don't go do, I don't go, I don't go stand down, no. I'm not a pussy, bro. Like, forget it. I'm not like, I'm not fighting you. But why are you fighting me for what, bro? I never said one thing bad about you. I never discredited you ever in my life. When last, when last did you hear from Bernard? Um, I saw Bernard. I saw Bonner like December. And you guys are still cool? No, like, I was, like, we're in, so I was just hearing things, but I saw him, we were cool, went to the club. This situation happened, bro. Just like, bro, that's my brother. I, I don't want to fight nobody, bro. Yeah. I got kids, bro. I'm not trying to be violent and something happened. I have kids, bro. Do you but, understand? But do you, do you think your single has made things worse? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, bro, like, like I'm saying, do you want to be violent or go to the studio? I'm not going to tune an event. I've always done it. Yeah. That's my P. Daily Mamadou, I did it. <laughs> Caroline, I did it. Abby? <laughs> I've always, my P is always been about my music P. I answer you with music. Do you understand? Forget violence. What do you want to do? You don't come shoot me. I'm going to jail for you. There are bigger things. There are bigger things. Forget music. Do you understand? I'm like, what is the problem? Tell me the problem. Nobody can tell me this Nigeria. Nobody can tell me this Nigeria. Oh, yeah, why, is it, why are you fighting me? Your picture, the picture you posted. Which picture? Of you and Wiz. No, <laughs> no, I'm saying that that's, that's obviously not really the You don't think that really was? Bro, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that that is obviously not the reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, come on, like. And that, I can't lie, that joining Pete together, that shit lame, bro. That shit whack. Kevin Lai, that shit whack. Joining to come on. Plan. What are you planning? For what? We're all cool. We're all here. All trying to take this music higher. Nobody who can go with me. Nobody for this Nigerian who can go against me. We go walk. Because I'm not, cause I don't have any bother towards anybody. So it won't work. Those are my brothers, man. It hurt. I can't lie. 
it, it hurts me sometimes. I'm like, yeah. how we do it, bro? Would you ever reach out? I've reached out how many times, though? I've, I've, just, I've, just, I've, been, I've, I've tried to do a song with Wiz. I've tried to do a tour with Wiz. With Bonner, I've tried to reach out. I saw him, asked him what was the problem. I'm still went to the club, trying, but come on, I mean, how, how long I go try? It's obvious, is that I want him? You don't like me? Or. What's up? Okay, I'm saying it here on life. What's up? I don't fight him. What's up? Let's all come together. How far? How far? Yeah. They don't go respond. I'm not fighting anybody. And, and they, they make me always look like the bad guy. Because it's always cool to look like the really bad guy. But I, I say they make me look the bad guy. The heat, they enter fast. So I'm just they count them one by one. <laughs> fighting anybody man because like two weeks ago three weeks ago yeah i, I went to um, a shopping um complex in banana close to banana Ibuka, fax so one guy now tells me that oh well, david i just built one new i just built one new lounge for but i said we'll go now guess who's there bonus dad i posted ah see now bonus i post it looks just like what i so funny I pushed her, I said, I agree with Sarah. He told me, he said, Debbie, you're my son. I said, yes, sir. Because, it, like, even him, like, he's, 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 there's no power. Like, me, I'm born our guys, though. What did he say to you? He just, no, I just, I greeted him, I said, I agree with Sarah. You know what I'm saying? We're just with a couple of friends. He was just like, Debbie, you're my son. Like him, like, he's just, you know, normal as a father would do. Yeah. Do you understand? Like, no problem, man. So I said, sir, sir, me, I don't get a problem, man. Very good. Do you understand? All those kind of things. And I greeted him, and I just prostrated for him. Yeah. And I walked away. with just normal respect as a father, you know, we do. But just like, bro, there's no problem, bro. Now, as you, as you said, don't hear this if you don't weak. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the fact that you, you, you reached out and you called them out saying, yo, there's no fight. So hopefully, I mean, because it's, it's unnecessary. Bobby I, Bobby think, I think for the fans, let me just yeah, say, Bobby. I think for the fans, much more than anything, we would like to see more collaboration than the fights. But with him, we are going to say. Yeah, but with him, I just had to. Just first. Had to. Had to. That was whether we said or not. First. Okay. Do you want him to reply you, Bernard? He can. I want him to reply me that come and fight me. Okay. <laughs> so keep it in the music. Music. I don't. Like I said, I don't want any problem, brother. Like. For yeah. what? I want to fight over music. Yeah. If you can't reply me, I don't care. I would like it. Bro, my biggest, my best song I play in my house every day is way too big and fucking, I play that shit every day. You know what I'm yeah. So it's not like, it's not. Do you think, do you think, do you think you had an easy pass with music, with your father and the money and all of that? No, I think it made it harder. I mean, you had money behind you, which is usually the hardest part. How many people have money? A lot of people have money. Love people have money behind them. Yeah. But I think. But if you ask me, you made it harder. How? Nigerians love a grass to grass story. Yeah. Like, so it's just like, I didn't know that. Come, coming in, brother, you know how it was for me now. Yeah. He's really, I had really, 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 to work, bro. I had to work, overwork. Yeah, I move, put my discography for here. Put specific discography for here. You see the difference now. But just the fact that his daddy has money, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like. So, do, you ever, do you ever feel like the, your but, but, but making it easier? I won't lie, as a real nigga. Yeah, I'll say a bit. It helps. I won't say it. I can't say it would never help. So it made it easier with the funds, but it made it harder to prove yourself. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about um privilege and how you know your dad might have been a help mm -hmm. for you. Do you think that affects how your fellow musicians rate you? Of course. Because they think you had an easy pass. Of course, Kari is your father is your father. Of course. Yeah. I think that's been a main problem. Like, we just even like, to be honest, like, we even guys that I'm even cool with, I've had problems, like, most, mostly everybody in the industry. So I'm sometimes I wake up like, why is he me? What, what, what did I do, bro? I, I've, I've basically had problems with everybody in the industry. Do you understand? So it's just like, I do. But I think sometimes my dad knows that's because he knows he just calls me like, calm down, calm down. You know why they are doing this. You know? But I'm like, bro, I make like the best music out of this country. And you all know that, bro. I've been giving you guys classics for years. For years, but it's something I have to live with. <laughs> I don't know how to live with it. I live without it. Abby. Ah. Do you think the fans, the fans also see you that way? 
like definition of a fan to me is just like what is really a fan yeah like why do you classify a fan your music you know, some people like my music but they don't, they don't like me yeah yeah so, so like what is really a fan do you understand like today i was giving out um <laughs> how to report your fans <laughs> i was giving out infinix phones uh whiskey the fc but i'm going to they asked i'm going to give look look still why no day this legal suit <laughs> tell me <you. laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, and if they disagree, I'll show I will be first. <laughs> How many albums do you have? Um, my first album, OBO Genesis. Okay. Second album, AGT, A Good Time. A Good Time. I'm about to drop A Better Time. Okay. No mm -hmm. EPs? Oh, I did one EP. It was okay. shit. What was it called? It was shit. What was it called? Son of Mercy. <laughs> That's what I want to talk about. <laughs> do you regret that? <laughs> I think I won't, mm, but if, if that didn't happen, I want Ginger to come back to Nigeria yeah. and do like uh, go back. Cause you no know, first me first signing with um, Sony. Yeah. But I want you first like that year. You know, when you first sign, you know, as you sign like this, you think say you didn't need more to tell the general. As I sign like this, I think say Omo. You know, you know, ain't nobody talk to me. Oh, ain't nobody. No name you. No name you. Ah, uh, Papa. Now when the work must start. So like. They just like they, they wanted me to sound like something I wasn't. So do you regret that? Like like I said, I I don't like the EP, but I won't I won't say I regret it because yeah. it made me come to Nigeria back and, do and start that. doing my normal P. So, so imagine if that thing had done well. You might have been a different guy now. So I'm, uh, but I don't like I don't like the EP. I would say that I hate it. Yeah. I don't listen to I don't listen to any songs from there. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> That's actually very funny. So I know we talked about this for see. Are you grateful to Techno for if what? Till day I Techno, till day you no know, Techno. Techno brought me back, bro. I, I never have a hit for almost a year, bro. You know it's happened. Techno the time say David, I get one song, bro. <laughs> but you know me, I like Jaya. I don't want the club. So there's one day that uh, Techno came to the club to drag me. So he came to um, how we meet if exactly. So he came to Kilox to actually like, drag me. So he dragged me, went to his house. So he really wanted you to do it. Bro, like I've never seen anybody that want, wants me to do a song that Techno wrote the whole song. The song was record if it's recorded, take this techno version. Why did he want you to do it? I'm a good guy. <laughs> yes, I like there's actually if techno recorded if the whole thing. So he called me, dragged me to his house, I recorded it drunk as shit. Called me next day. Um, I'm gonna be on this thing now. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> this thing now. Nah, I said, luckily for me, the guy, President of Gabon, invited me to come. So I was in Gabon. I went to one Afcon, something, something. Went there. Ta. I played if All of them, the club of life. They were singing. They kept on singing it on the way back. If I said, why you guys keep singing? No, that's the one. From Gabon, I flew to London. Shot the video, came back, bah, dropped it. I'll never forget. I was in Nikoi when I dropped that song. But everybody was calling me. He it. I said, oh, 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 God, 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 God. <laughs> Finally. Ah, bah, bah. The worst thing for an artist is to be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, damn, man. So you're definitely grateful to him. Are you guys very yeah. cold still? It's my, I spoke to him last week. It's my brother. What's, you dropped a better time, amazing album. Um, a good time, actually. A better time is coming. Drop a good time. You drop a good time, sorry. Yeah. A better time is coming. Yeah. Um, a better time is coming. What are you? What's the plan going forward? Because I've talked a lot about ten years, and for a lot of people, ten years is like the cut off for staying relevant. No, no, no. I mean, if you people like Two Baba have broken that jinx where they've stayed still, what are what are you bringing with a better a better time? Do you know what? It's just, it's just, it's just a better album. Yeah. Just like with a good time, I was in with a good time. I was in America most of the time. Yeah. So my producers was we were working through like WhatsApp, email, send the song. Can you make a yeah? Yeah. Do I'm like this? Do I sound like with a better time with Corona? Corona hits. So you were here. Perfect. I was here with my producers. Everything. I watched. It was so weird. 
Like we just they bang out hits naturally in the show. Now the guy that did fame, let me fuck you. The guy that produced fame, that DK friend, we come collect khaki. We won't go change NG oil for DK. <laughs> 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 Guy, I swear, Nam G, he just came, started recording. Don't, everything was just natural with ABT. And we just did fans. So, like, ABT, trust me, special. Special, like, crazy, 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 crazy. So, it's a better album. Obviously, I had more time to work on it. Yeah. Normally, we go to the studio, I go to like this. Or more injury time, we go club. We have go. time. But this time, everywhere, no clothes. <laughs> you don't feel go club. Now, this studio, if you party, now, this studio, if you do everything. So it was time for me to like yeah. relax, and I and I needed the time. Off. Yeah, I've been on the go for nine years. Yeah, so I needed the time. I was I was actually like even like mental health. Like I was actually like going crazy. Like in my head, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like I was on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go, on the go. So I had to like take a break. Man. A, a lot of you, a lot of you guys at the top, mm -hmm. have been accused now of tweaking your sounds. Okay. To appeal to the inter to the international I don't do audience, you know, um, there's a lot of that's that's what I did with Son of was... Mercy. Okay. See, so you're not, you're not see let me tell you that Western Westernized validation that we we approve is rubbish. Why can why why should we be tweeting? Oh, um, can I not tweet my song? Oh, did, they should be tweeting. They will not post my song. With that Western validation yeah. that we've held on to for so long that we think they drag us. Do you understand? So you did it, you did it your way, basically. Baba, all giddy, they do. I know they do any, I did some of my piano, I'm a piano boy. I know I'm not like... But we hear, we, we, we hear that you can't, you, you can't win a Grammy if you don't tweak it. Are you concerned about stuff like that? Bobby, Grammy, now God will give you. Cardi B with Grammy, she took anything. <laughs> It's not about tweak. If you like, do all those <laughs> Africa Lion King. <laughs> Bro, do your music. Do your music. If not head is you win, you hear this. Go your way. Nothing spoiled. Simple, nothing spoiled. Now that you mentioned it, I also quickly ask, do you feel bad that you went on Beyonce album? Honestly, to tell the truth, um, it was something that they, they planned to not put me on that. Do you know the funny thing? Our producers that worked on the album, they were my friends. That didn't tell me they were working on the album. Oh. Yeah. Why did they not want you to be on the album? I don't know. So today, you I never don't asked? Know. I don't care. Because I dropped the band. Did you feel there. bad? Of course. Yeah. I felt bad. I won't lie to you. I was hurt. The whole industry on one album. <laughs> I was hurt. But I know that I was planned. Like I said, they keep planning against me. It will not work, Ibuka. <laughs> will not work. Two days later, I job blow my mind. What did they sub? What did they play more for Africa? Do you understand? Look, I, I know that they planned that thing for me. But shout out to Beyonce, man. It was yeah. a success. It was a beautiful <laughs> album. Two questions first. First off, which artists have you not worked with that you want to work with locally and internationally? Locally, I say Rema. Okay. Internationally, Drake. I want to work with Drake. Okay. Is it is it something you're working on? We speak now, but oh, Drake, you know, that big man, uh, when you're ready for it, you're ready for it. I know it will happen now. I know yeah. I'll make it bang too. Which artists have you worked with locally and internationally that you are most Chris Brown, proud of? Brown. I love him. He's my best Chris friend. Brown, yeah. Like, I, 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 let me give Chris Brown some. Subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to this ch channel. Subscribing to this channel is very, very free.